In this video, we'll demonstrate how source transformations can be used to simplify, or at least to, uh, yeah, I guess simplify the circuit analysis process, in this case to determine the voltage across this 16 ohm resistor. You'll notice that we have a voltage source, a 12 volt source here in series with the 6 ohms, and that in addition we have this 12 ohm source coming from this node here on down to the ground, and another 4 ohms here. Notice that the 6 and the 12 are not in series with each other, nor are they in parallel with each other, but the source is in parallel with that 6 ohms. So let's use a source transformation to convert this 12 volt source that is in series with the 6 ohm resistor to a current source in parallel with that 6 ohm resistor. So we're saying that we're going to take this part of the circuit and replace it with a current source that's in parallel with the 6 ohm resistor. The rest of the circuit will remain unchanged at this point. There's the 12 ohm resistor, 4 ohm resistor, the 16 ohm resistor, and there's the voltage V out that we're looking for. Now what does the value of this current source need to be? Well the current source we found in these source transformations that V sub S must equal I sub S times R sub S, or that the current source I sub S would equal V sub S divided by R sub S. So our source voltage, V sub S, is 12 volts. The source resistance is 6 ohms. So 12 divided by 6 gives us a 2 amp source here. And we're saying then that this circuit is equivalent to that circuit, that this current and resistance are equivalent to the voltage and resistance and that this 16 ohm resistor doesn't know the difference between the two. Alrighty, now the process in, in the process of doing so we brought this 6 ohm resistor down here so that it's now in parallel with the 12 ohm. And 6 ohms in parallel with 12, that's 6 times 12 divided by 6 plus 12, that equals 4 ohms. So we can now replace these two resistors with a single 4 ohm resistor. The 2 amp source is still here. And I should point out that the direction of the current source is pointing current into the same direction that this voltage source would have then driven current into the rest of the circuit. So current leaves the positive terminal and goes upward into this circuit and similarly the current source is, is directed the same way. So we've got the 2 amp source here, we've got the 4 ohms, which was the result of the 6 and the 12 in parallel. Now, we still had the 4 ohms and the 16 ohms. There's our V out that we're looking for, 16 ohms and 4 ohms. So, what we're saying through this source transformation process is now that this is equivalent to the rest of this, and that the 4 and the 16 ohms in series with each other can't tell the difference between this and that. Now once again, or now for the next step, we note that we have this current source in parallel with this 4 ohm resistor. So we can once again do a source transformation and replace this parallel combination with a voltage source and bring this 4 ohms up into series with the voltage source. So we'll replace this with this, and then we still have the 4 ohms in series with the 16 ohms. There's the V out that we're looking for. That's 4 ohms. Now, what must this voltage source be in order for this to be equivalent to this? Well, V sub S must equal I sub S times R sub S, or this voltage source here will be 2, 2 amps, times 4 ohms, or 8 volts here. Now, we're looking for V out. We see that these two resistors are in series. We can replace them with the equivalent 8 ohm resistor. We've got the 16 ohms here. There's our V out. We've got 8 volts here. And we can now determine V out with a simple voltage divider. V out then is equal to 
8 times 16 divided by 8 plus 16. Or 16 over 24, that's 2 thirds of 8, which is 16 thirds or 5 and 1 third volts. And the claim through this source transformation process is that this voltage here that we calculate through the voltage divider, the voltage across the 16 ohm resistor is the same in each of these circuits. But in the process of doing these equivalent circuits and, and uh, source transformations, we've been able to reduce a more complicated circuit down to a less complicated circuit that allowed for a relatively simple voltage divider calculation to give us the output voltage V out.